there are four tubs. I hope I don't end up falling if I end up getting up on top of this, but we're just gonna go with it. Ooh, yeah, that's a good viewpoint right there. Cool. There's also white paper in them too. Or Can you see what those say? There you go. A, B, a very wet piece of paper. That's a C. <laughs> and D over there. I'll catch you if you fall, I promise. Cool. Ish. Maybe. Oh, we have them over here already. Perfect. Yep. Oh. So are the cups themselves labeled? Yes, they are. So if Everyone should have their science notebook out or at least a piece of paper and your T-chart again, the same thing as last time, observations on the left and wonderings on the right. So you're gonna make, you're actually gonna make four of these today. So you're gonna do an observations and wonderings about sample A, sample B, sample C and sample D. So you're gonna have four pieces of paper or four T-charts that you should be writing down multiple observations multiple wonderings about each individual one. And the way that we're gonna do this is we're gonna stagger them. So we're gonna, we're gonna uh, give you a chance to write down observations about the dry bath bombs and then put them in the water. And then after we observe them for five minutes, we'll put the next one in the water so we can kind of stagger them a little bit. But we're gonna, for, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take observations on homemade bath bomb letter A. You want to write down observations and wonderings? Is that what you're nope, doing? I was going to do so when we get done with it. Yep. A, yeah. B. So we can set them on that. Oh, great. All right. Okay. So I have not taken these out of these cups before. So this could get interesting. We'll see how it work, how well it works. That actually came out quite nicely. Okay, <laughs> so, so this is A. Just so you know, it's a little bit crumbly. It's not completely solid. It's not completely dried. I imagine if we left it there for another few hours or a day or two, it probably would get more dry. But right now I'm, I'm squeezing this pretty hard and it's not moving. As far as odor, it actually has kind of that same Febreze smell that the other, can you take a, what do you think Mr. Felsing? Yeah, just maybe a little more subtle than the other one. Mm -hmm. I have an observation. I know we haven't started this already yet, but I do have an observation. We have definitely started Absolute, observations. Absolutely, we have. Yes. So, Judy, why don't you why don't you I write it down? I wonder when we put it in the water if it would react differently because of its different shape. Because the other one was like more circular, and this one has like. No question. It's a great wondering. And hopefully we get the answer when we drop it in. So I want you to take note of what color it is, what shape it is. We've talked a little bit about the smell, kind of the how crumbly it is. All of these things are observations and should lead to wonderings. And remember, this is A, recipe A. So what I'm going to do is I've been recording over here on my uh, screen. So I'm going to do a little bit of just an observation of what this is. This is sample A. So that the so the recorded version can see what it looks like when it's dry. You can see that it's a little crumbly. I don't want this to go into the water. But if that screen can see that it's just a little crumbly, but for the most part, it's relatively solid. Mr. Felsing, are we missing anything before we start, or do we want to move on to the next? I think we do our physical observations first. Perfect. I love it. Yep. Ooh. Is this the one with the coconut? No. <laughs> it looks like coconut. Doesn't yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. So, but these are all observations that you can make. Here, let me. So this is what. So B. This is what it looked like when it was inside the cup. That's pretty close anyway. You took it out. But this is what it looked like inside the cup. 
just so you know, when I made these, I put, they were all level like A was, they were all level. This one did this as it sat, but as you pull this out, it's got like a gooey feel to it that it kind of strung along like a piece of chewed gum as you pulled it apart. And that's what the is inside of Go ahead. Yes, this is B. This is B. B as in boy. So now we're, we're left with this and you can see that this is much more pliable. And that probably has to do with more of the fact that it hasn't sat for very long, more than anything, but it should still react, but it's just gonna be, it's much softer. It's, it's much more pliable, has the consistency of Play-Doh maybe. It has a different, a different odor and I'm having trouble placing it. It's a little, you can still get a little bit of that Febreze type smell, but Yeah, I'm struggling to place it. But anyway, so there's B. This is letter C. I'm gonna get this one out and then I'll show the letter B to the recording camera. I'm gonna start that one again. Perfect. So this is a lot more solid. It's, yeah, pretty hard on the outside. A little bit softer on the top here. As you can see, it's coming off from the top. Let's see if we can get that to focus in nice and Did finished. you make them? Yes, Mr. Sheridan made all of these. I yeah, tried to make one, but it just... <laughs> So this is I C, remember. And it just was all fluffy and wouldn't set. So this is, this is C. This has a very different texture than A. It's much more, it's not as hard. It's, uh, it has a more of a sandy texture. As I'm crumbling it off, it's like you would crumble a sand castle on the beach. Rather than the other bath bomb that was, the, the store ball one that was really hard and you kind of could scratch it and almost had like a coral type uh, texture. This is more like wet sand. Would you say that it's more gritty or, um, or it's a, it's, it's a great question. The way that I would describe it is sandy. It's, it's like you would, when you're feeling sand in your hands, if you went out in your backyard and you had some sandy soil that you, that you dug up, it has a very sandy type texture. Did you show that one there yet? No, I haven't, but let's get, you can get D going here. So this is letter D as in dog. This was the last one I made, so it's probably more wet than the others. Could be why it's sticking a bit more. Agreed. I'm gonna tear the cup off even. So this color is a little bit different. I'd say it has a little yellow hue to it. Again, this is D. Yeah, and it's definitely a little sticky. Which, like Mr. Sheridan said that that might be because that was the last one that he made. So it has, yep, it has a texture very similar to B in that it's B, that I'm able to peel it apart more. But then up here on the top, it's similar to A in when it's been the part that was exposed to air for the longest is actually quite hard and you can scratch it and it feels like the store-bought bath bomb. So I'm going to say that if this one was allowed to sit for another few hours, it would probably be quite hard. Why don't we take one second, put them on here. Great. I just want to show this one really quickly to the recording. Are you going to put them in the Yes. yes, we will get there. Okay. All right, just so you can see them all lined up next to each other. There are differences in color. 
There are differences in texture on the outside. It's a lot more obvious how white C is when it's sitting next to that yellowish hue of D. So we can even set them up here in these corners like this. And you can, so they're right next to each other. If you can still see the, which letter they are. And we'll talk about what these are made out of, the, the recipes for these. I will pass those along so that you can all do this at your house if you want to. But for now, this is what we're going to do, and we're going to observe them in the water. I'm going right. to try to grab this and, and show it like this to the recording. I don't know how well this is going to work, <laughs> but we're going to try. So this is A up here is the closest one. So if you can see on the screen, you've got A, B, C, and D. Looks like we have some siblings joining us again. Nice. Always fun to have other people enjoying science. Okay. So we're going to start with letter A. Ooh, I need your code on here. Oops, sorry. <laughs> here, I won't show it with the video. <laughs> That's okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so this is letter A. Uh, we noticed that it's pretty hard on top. This one, it, it will come apart if you really try, but this was also the first one I made. So you can see that it uh, that it is harder. It has more of a chalky type consistency and it has a bit of a pink hue to it. All right, so, so you ready? Here we go. Can you guys hear that? Yes. Yeah, once it first started, it was kind of louder, so you could hear better. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Sheridan, Mr. Felsing. Yes, Davide. You're not recording. Uh, yep, yeah, we're not recording from this. We're recording from the other one. Thank you. So if you notice, it's split in two right away. So we've got part of it here, and then obviously this part. There is, our containers are not perfectly clean. So this is looks like hair of some sort, or whatever it is, it's gross. We are one minute in. Do we want to take it out? I'm worried that these are going to break down faster, that we might want to, after one minute, do an observation. And it's mostly crumbles. <laughs> so we're one minute and 15 seconds in. It's really interesting when you hold it in your hand, you can feel the, the, the gas coming out of that little piece of solid. Did it leave a pink tint on your hand? Yeah, it, your hands kind of look a little pink. Yeah. I, I don't know whether that's from the bomb or not. Probably not. So I'd say right around a minute 45 right now. And there doesn't seem to be a lot left. Agreed. OK, well, we're going to go ahead and move on then. This is letter B. Again, it was the one that kind of mushroomed out of the cup. Very pliable, very easy to pull apart. We'll try to get it back together. It's hard on the outside, but uh, but very easy to uh, pull apart. It's kind of an off-white color. And here we go. You want to give them a side view from underneath? Or Colors, 
as you can see, it looks like it's almost all gone, that you can see the gas that's moving up toward the, well, no, because it's still going. Reminding you of what? Yeah, since it's like oh, yeah. a half white color and it's not really coloring in anything, you said it looks like Sprite, and I agree with her. It kind of does look like Sprite. Sprite, yeah. that's what I just yeah, like did. I agree. We are one minute in. Especially with all the little bubbles and stuff on the side. Interesting. One minute in right now. And it's way bigger than the pink one. Yes, it is. I feel like it's taking longer to like um, dissolve and stuff because of its size, because of the way it was shaped, and it's like probably explain what I'm trying to say. But what I'm, I guess, what I'm trying to say is like since because of the like odd shaping to it, it's like harder for like the pieces to break down into the water. Hmm. Interesting. We are one minute and 40 seconds in. It is floating now. So it wasn't floating before, but it's on top of the surface of the water. And remember for all of these observations, you should be labeling them B at this point. We're two minutes in. It's still dancing on top. Two minutes, fifteen seconds. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal it if I can because yep. I want to I want to show you the side of the container is completely covered in bubbles, very much like the folks who said something about it being Sprite, it looking like Sprite. Yeah, that's what I said before, like when I said that before, it was because of all the bubbles and stuff that was sticking to the side. It's just like whenever you get like a glass of Sprite or something. Oh, whenever, like, there always be like a bunch of bubbles on the top. Totally. Two minutes and 50 seconds. I think. I, I got it. Go. Yeah. Well, we're going to stagger them every five, but they're obviously quicker than five. No question. Hi, Grady. The bubbles kind of look like, like, uh, the big group of bubbles kind of in the middle. It kind of looks kind of yellow from my. Like that's a, I was just going to say, it's a wonderful observation. I don't know who made the observation, but great job because that's exactly yes. what it is. The, Three minutes, 10 seconds, and I think that it is officially gone. Does it kind of seem like there's some oily residue on the top? Too? And I think that's exactly what this is, that it that it looks like an oil, little, and that even is the tinge of what those bubbles are, that yellowish color that you're talking about almost looks a little oily. Yeah, there was not an oil residue in there at the start. So that came from so the bath bomb. From the bath bomb. Exactly. Wonderful observation. That's exactly the way we ought to be thinking. Yes. Did you put um, oil or anything in the thing? That's a, the... It's a great question that you should write down in your wondering section. Mr. Right. Felsing, how long did it take the bath bomb to be done? Let's say three ten. Something like yeah. That yep, just over three minutes. Did you hear that? Thank you. Good question, Joey Bats. Okay, here we go, folks. Here's our sandy-ish one. It's very white. Took the shape of the cup very well, did not expand. And here we go. Remember, this is C. So anything that you're writing down in observations, make sure you're labeling it C. It looks really foggy. It seems that the thing is absor absorbing really, uh, uh, yeah, and it's like bubbling away really fast. Yeah, and if you look at the water, it kind of looks like it has like a texture to it. It's kind of weird. 
but it's cool at the same time. We are 50 seconds in. One minute in. It almost like kept the same shape it had at the beginning. Great yeah, observation. Would, it, would you think it would be bigger than B or smaller? Would you think? It's one it's one? a little bit smaller. If you want a, a reference, it looks like a marshmallow. Oh, that's a okay. yeah, exactly. Oh, it looks like it looks like a marshmallow that you're just getting ready to put on a stick at around the campfire. Hope said something in the chat. I said that. When you put it in the water, it's so fizzy, it looks like it's boiling. Mm-hmm. Can you hear that also? Yes. And remember, we are recording all of this. We're two minutes in. So if you want to make a comparison from what this looked like at one minute versus the other ones, you can always go back to the video and watch it again. Ava, what's up? For B, did, was it, what did it, um, was it still there at two minutes or did it, I don't remember. I thought I it was watched. completely dissolved just over three minutes. But what, at what, at one minute, that was when we pulled this one out. At one minute, it was even bigger than C. We're at two minutes and 35 seconds right now. Well, I see that. Yeah, I barely see it. It's so tiny. You can see on the side of the container, it looks very similar to what B looked like. There's bubbles all lining the entire Thing, and it just popped up. What's our time? Three this minutes is exactly is when it popped up. Perfect. It looks like it looks like a dime. It's not even that big. Not even that. It's gonna big. be like gone in like two seconds, five seconds. Wait, can you like hold it in your hand so we can get like a general size size of it? I mean, it's nothing. Oh it's 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 so it's, it's it's gone. Three minutes twenty five seconds. Keep in mind the residue. The oops, hang on just one sec. The res there is a residue on top of the water in C as well. Yeah, Bree. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say before. Is it like uh, is it like oily like uh, number? It's it's um, not. It does not have the same yellow tinge as B, but it's definitely like an oily type uh, covering sucks. on top of the water. It kind of looks like jelly. I could see that. I see what you're saying. Okay. Or, or like before jello sets. There you go. Yeah. 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 Before. Yeah. When you're just putting pectin in. Okay. So here's D. Uh, it is hard, but it comes apart relatively easy. Uh, it's hard, pretty hard on top. It has that yellowish color tinge to it, uh, but relatively similar to uh, the first one that we started with. A, it's kind of shaped the same, and it's uh, hard on top, but comes apart relatively easy. And Mr. Sheridan, yes. Um, like the uh, like you did with B and all the other ones. Could you like say how long this one lasted? Because if it's harder, wouldn't it? Do you think it would last longer? Well, that's a great question that you can put on your wonder side, also. Yep. Just so we can go back, and you can go back and watch the video again. But A lasted, didn't even last to two minutes, I don't think, if I remember right. It was gone very quickly. B lasted over three minutes, and C lasted over three minutes. So those two were pretty similar. That one went away even quicker. Here we go. Yes, it does. Yellow number five. 
which none of you should be drinking. Right. It's bad for you. Do as I say, not as I do. I've never had Mountain Dew before. Good. Keep it that way. We don't need to talk about Mountain Dew right now. Mr. Felsing, do you does this one have a different smell than some of the others? Wait, did the water level raise? I don't think I'm smelling anything. Not, not significantly. I actually I get a little bit of a lemonade type smell with this one. What do you guys smell? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Yes, somebody had a question. Um, did the water raise? It looks a little bit higher because, like, I'm looking. I'm trying to compare it to the one that's next to it from what I can see. Yeah, they kind of looks like it's a little bit higher. It is a little bit higher than the other one, but we started with them that way. The water hasn't changed significantly in in, in any of the containers. The, so this water is a little bit higher than this one, but that's because we just put a little more water in this one. That, that's not a part of the, oh, shoot. We're at a minute 45, and this is all that's left. There was a pile of kind of this material that this was in. If you think about, you know, like a pile of sand underneath this at the bottom, that's what was there. There's a pile of grainy substance. It's not all dissolved, but... Yeah, I'm definitely getting some lemonade hues there. Are we almost gone? One thing I noticed about that was that the, like, the thing when you took it out, it was like, it looked kind of, to me, it kind of looked like eggs for some reason. Like, it looked like egg, like scrambled okay. eggs that you okay. haven't, that haven't finished cooking. Like a piece of scrambled egg. Okay, I could, I could see that. You can see it just a little bit down there. Did you say that one? What's our time? 2.45. Two minutes and 45 seconds. Say that one more time. But to be honest, it kind of looks like slime. I think. Are we right around three minutes? Right around three minutes? Yeah, it wasn't quite three minutes, I think, when uh, when it was mostly gone. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording. So right now.